Welcome back to the FlipNerd.com REI Classroom, where experts from across the real estate investing industry teach you quick lessons to take your business to the next level. And now, let's meet today's expert host. Hi there, and welcome to the REI Classroom. My name is Michael Blanc, and I'll be your instructor today. Today, we're going to talk about why duplexes may be the best way to get into multifamily investing. This show is sponsored by PassiveRental.com. All right, so here's the thing. My argument always is to go to do the biggest deal you possibly can. And there are exercises and things you can do to expand your comfort zone so that you're thinking bigger than you might uh, might now. I mean, bigger and better is actually multifamily is a good thing. You can get non-recourse financing. It takes just amount uh, of work to do a 20 unit as it does a, a five unit. A lot of benefits. But here's what I'm finding. Sometimes the the bigness of getting into multifamily is so overwhelming that someone never gets out of the gates and never gets started. So my, my normal attempt with a student is to expand their comfort zone and get them to as big as we can and then go for that first deal. But sometimes if you can't get to that, before a person gives up, I will go to plan B. And this is about plan B, not plan A. Plan A is to go big as you can. This is plan B. We've tried everything. We've expanded your comfort zone and you're still very uneasy, not very confident. And before you just bag the whole idea of multifamily as a way to retire and uh, generate passive income. Let's go to plan B, which is this. And there are actually advantages over going to duplexes than a uh, larger deal. So what I want to do here in this in this video is kind of outline some of those some of those benefits. All right, you with me so far? So there are some benefits. Okay, number one is there's more duplexes out there than larger multifamily. So, I mean, obviously, if you're looking at you know, if, if you want to buy a single family house rental, I mean, they're everywhere. Now, duplexes, you know, there's probably not quite as many, but there is a ton of them, right? I mean, uh, you can go into LoopNet, for example. No, forget LoopNet. <clears throat> you can go on the MLS, Realtor.com, and search for multifamily on, uh, on Realtor.com. And I just picked like a small town about an hour and a half away from D.C. just to, to prove it can be done. And there was like 79 multifamily, which is essentially duplexes, tries, and quads, and maybe the occasional 10-unit. There's a lot of them, right? So there's more of them out there. Number two is you need less money. It makes a lot of sense. With multifamily, one of the big objection is that you need a lot of cash, and this is true, which is why I teach people to raise money. And that's fine. With smaller deals, you might actually have the fifteen, twenty thousand dollars yourself, uh, or you have to raise a lot less of it. So raising the money is less of a concern with duplexes. They're a lot easier to analyze than multifamily, right? I mean, you're, it's basically like analyzing, uh, you know, a, a single family house. Uh, it's all comps based, right? It's not income based or anything like that. It's just looking at the comps like you do with a with a normal normal house. Um, they, you have a lot less expenses in a in a in a duplex. It's kind of like renting out a single family house, right? You don't have a uh, a lot of right. So it's a lot easier to analyze. At number four, you don't need to build a huge team. Right? Multifamily is important. You have a good team in place, a good team of property managers, uh, brokers lenders, right, attorneys, that kind of stuff. With duplex, it's 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 not nearly as important to have a really good team. It always helps, but it's not really a requirement. And reason number five is that single uh, that duplexes actually tend to cash flow better than multifamily on a per unit basis. And that's because the overhead is lower on a, on a duplex. So those are some of the advantages. Obviously, the disadvantages are that you, it's harder, much harder to scale uh, and to actually achieve your goal. But again, before you bag the whole idea of multifamily, then let's go for a duplex. All right. So don't let the vision stop you of retirement in three to five years via multifamily. The strategy is sound. Again, my advice is to go as big as you can, but before you bag it, consider duplex. Really consider duplex and uh, and hope that gets you in the game. Hope that was useful. I'll catch you in the next episode. PassiveRental.com is your source for turnkey, done-for-you rental properties. If you'd like to be an investor and not a landlord, please visit PassiveRental.com to learn how to purchase cash-flowing, professionally managed rental properties in the hottest rental markets across the country. We can also help connect you with financing for your next property. Invest the easy way today and get started by visiting PassiveRental.com. Please note, the views and opinions expressed by the individuals in this program do not necessarily reflect those of FlipNerd.com or any of its partners, advertisers, or affiliates. Please consult professionals before making any investment or tax decisions, as real estate investing can be risky. Are you a member yet of FlipNerd.com, the hottest real estate investing social community online? 
If not, you can join for free in less than 30 seconds and get access to hundreds of off-market deals, vendors in your market to help you in your business. And you can start networking with thousands of other investors just like you. Get your free account now at FlipNerd.com. Please check out the FlipNerd family of real estate investing shows where you can access hundreds of expert interviews, quick tips, and lessons from leaders across the real estate investing industry. They're available at flipnerd.com slash shows or simply search for FlipNerd in the iTunes store.